Hello everyone, welcome to a new series, Statistics Made Easy. This is our first lesson and it's on collecting data. I bring you greetings from the Lagos State University, Africa Center of Excellence for Innovative and Transformative STEM. Education, the course of course, the course of course, the course is uh, Advanced Educational Research Methods and Statistics 1 and 2. 1, AC 811 for the master students, 911 for the doctorate students. I am Peter Okibukola. I am pleased to begin this series uh, with you. I welcome all our students, regardless of discipline. As, as you know, Advanced Statistics course will bring together people from different disciplines. Uh, within the department or within the faculty. So, in our class, we have uh, STEM education students, ICT education students, pure science students, students in social sciences, humanities administration, law, 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 law students, engineering and technology, and others. Uh, the topics that we'll cover in this course, you can see many people are, some of you are alarmed, people who hate maths like me or who hate statistics like me. We are already alarmed that we are going to be learning about standard deviation and variance, t-test, analysis of variance, ANOVA for short, one-way version, a multi-way version, analysis of covariance and cover, multivariate analysis of covariance, man cover. You are shivering already, I can say. Factor analysis, analysis of moment structures, AMOS, cluster analysis. You can see I've stopped this one here, maybe because I think that it it, it, it progressive, progressively becomes difficult difficult from here all the way to here. And the correlation, the multiple correl regression, and then we'll go to non-parametric statistics. These are parametric statistics, uh, including chi-square, uh, Kruska, Wallis, and Nova. But at the end of the course, ladies and gentlemen, no difficulty again. No difficulty again, and you'll be happy with us because all of these topics you'll find very easy to learn. More importantly, to apply in your research. We have different research interests in this in this class. You, you can see uh, the proposed project report and thesis titles. Uh, I will show you a few more. As you can see from here, uh, we have all these thesis titles in STEM education, ICT education, social sciences law, and all that. These are uh, our students from Nigeria in this course. Students from Burundi in this course. Students from DRC, Congo, Democrat, Democratic Republic in this course. Students from Ghana in this course. You can see we have all different types of research interests all coming together to learn advanced statistics. So you will have a class of varied interests, varied understanding about what statistics is and uh, how to apply. Since the goal of this course is not to be theoretical, because what I found when I was learning statistics, advanced statistics, while in graduate school or postgraduate school, if you like, is that the professor will come to class and give you fictitious figures uh, let's assume that there are 10 oranges there. No. It becomes meaningful if it is data that you have collected, if it is data that you can relate with. But the challenge that I have is that look at a mixed bag of people in ICT education, STEM education, uh, in law, in science, and administration. So how do I select a topic that we can all relate to? So now that means that we have to select a topic that uh, we will uh, all be familiar or comfortable with. So selecting a study for the purpose of collecting data for our series, uh, I then thought that since we're all locked down in our different places, we should look at the problem that we want to solve. And that is how COVID-19 impacts on the educational system in Africa. I should be in class with you. But I'm not in class with you, at least physically, face to face. But I'm in class with you virtually. You are in different locations. So that's some impact. So that's the problem I want to solve. 
Now, watch this. Coronavirus. You can see that I've not put any, uh, any space between corona and virus because it is just one word. Coronavirus, just one word. And this is the virus that is ravaging the world. Look at this virus. It has this inner bit, the RNA bit. This is the active man. But the man is very smart. This organism, this entity is very smart. Don't let me, let me call it a man. This entity is very smart. It surrounds itself with a coat, a protective coat of lycoproteins, an envelope. This one here protects itself. So the logic behind your washing your hand is that when you wash this thing, okay, before washing it, if you just if you have this virus like this, it can stay on any surface in the air on the other surface for about three to five days. And when you touch it, you know it it affects largely the respiratory system, the lungs. So it just enters your lung through the mouth, through the eyes, through the you know all these places that can get to your lungs, and then it will begin to wreak havoc. But if you can get away this coat, and the good news is that. To get away this coat, just washing off your hands with soap and water, running water, will take away this coat. This coat will dissolve in water. And so this one is exposed and it will not have any uh, impact uh, on you. So we have this defined our problem. We now want to design a study and get an instrument for collecting data. So the design, we want to survey Africans, Africans all over the place. Uh, so it has to be a survey. The design is a survey. The instrument that we want to use is a questionnaire. And uh, in doing this survey, in our class, we have students who are from Nigeria, from Burundi, from Ghana, from DRC. Like Professor Ibadili taught us, uh, we don't have the luxury of going all over Africa doing sampling and all that. So it is a sampling that I can grab, that we can grab our class. That is what we are using now. So what about the instrument? The instrument is a questionnaire. And uh, the procedure is for us to develop the questionnaire and administer it. So development of the questionnaire, we need to look at Dr. Michael Ahobe's lecture, which he gave earlier this week, on the development of questionnaire, very brilliant lecture. On the administration of the questionnaire, especially online administration, now this wonderful lecture given by Associate Professor Rashid Sani, Sani earlier in the week will also be very instructive. So I want to advise that you go and revisit those two lectures. You may also wish to see my YouTube video a quick guide to online questionnaire surveys. This is the link, but if you can't remember this link, like me myself, me, I can't remember it, even looking at it. You know, so what you can do is to just Google okay Bukola quick guide to online questionnaire survey, and you're gonna see it as a video. So let's have a practical demonstration of how we implement this study. That is a practical demonstration of our data collection process. Uh, so here is the questionnaire which we develop, and uh, it's entitled Survey of uh, African Students' Perception of the Effects of COVID-19 on the Educational System. Uh, you will note that Professor Mike Ahove said you don't need to have questionnaire as a uh, part of the title. You can if you want. But you can see I've obeyed him. I've not put questionnaire here. Just a survey of African students' perception of the effects of COVID-19. By the way, uh, COVID-19 is not coronavirus. Coronavirus is different from COVID-19 in a sense. Because COVID is coronavirus. The D here is disease. Coronavirus disease. So the virus is different from the disease. So when somebody contracts it, it becomes covid and 19 because it came out in December or thereabouts of 2019. So, according to Ahove, he said we should make it Afrocentric, <laughs> Michael Mike. So, we have that there. <laughs> African Studies Perception. And then instruction 
Uh, this question has six your views on the effects of COVID-19 on the educational system in Africa. Let me make this bigger. Your honest answers will be appreciated. I think it was uh, Ola De Joe who asked about this. Yeah, it's nice if you if you let your participants know uh, who you are and get your email ID there. So the first section is demographic data. You can put whatever demographic data that you want. We have put in all this demographic data. And then section B is assessment of effects of COVID-19 on the educational system. Uh, the instruction here is please place an X, uh, rather the ticks, because it's easy for me to get this X, in the column which best describes your view of the following statements. And so on a scale, strongly agree, disagree, and all of that, which uh, Professor Sonny uh, rightly uh, labeled as a leaker type skill. And I gave everybody a challenge that we should also have Somebody develop a skill that originates from an African scholar. So let's look at a few of the statements. Statement number one uh, Students' performance will be negatively affected. So there's a skill. Students will pay more attention and show better interest in online education. Teachers may end up having pay cut and lose motivation. Teenage pregnancy rate will increase. Students will know more about viruses in their science class. Students will learn how to manage their time better. Students and teachers will be better at finding information on the internet. Dropout rate will increase at the end of the year. Children will be less healthy for returning to school and so on. So you can see we have 22 items here and at the end, thank you for your time. Did you notice something in this? Maybe you have. Which is that the negatively worded items, just like uh, back at over totals, we should have almost equal number of negatively worded items so that you uh, the response uh, pattern will be valid and reliable. Uh, va reliable, I would say. So, uh, we have, if you can notice, we have 11, 22 items, 11 of them are negatively stated, and the other 11 possibly stated. So, that's what we have. So, question is now ready. I'm now going. To the lecture of uh, Asui Professor Rashid Sonny. So this had to go to uh, be administered to you. You are in different locations. So what other option do I have? Mainly online administration. So following Professor Sonny's uh, procedure and uh, my tips and the quick guide to developing on online uh, questionnaires. So you will see that I have put this uh, online. And you have it questionnaire to collect data for AC 811911 advanced regional statistics. All right. Uh, please complete the two sections of this question, which is to collect data and all of that. So demographic data is my section A. You can see all of those items that are here. All these demographic data that are here have transferred to the online. Yeah, you can see surname, first name, and nationality, and all of that. So they are all here. They are all here. Then the section B which is assessment of effects of COVID-19 on the general system. So you can see the stress performance will be negatively affected, strongly agree, disagree, and so on. So that's what we have. And at the end of it, you, you so this is the questionnaire and uh, good news. It has been administered, administered to you all. Uh, for some people responded, they have, have closed the uh, the completion. So let's see the responses. I gave you people just two days to complete this. Those who responded for the seven. So what do we have? Uh, you can see the names of those. If you did not participate, uh, that's not too good. Uh, so that's it. These are the first names. And then it gives us uh, some graphs. You can see the nationality of those who participated. That's the one I showed in the earlier slide. The institution. We are from Lasso ACC, we are from Burundi Doctoral School, and from others. Specialization, I already showed you this. Uh, people in STEM, all of this. A class of degree. Oh, brilliant students. Uh, okay, st second class, that's following a normal curve. 70% uh, second class, upper or so. And the first class, you can see, 30%. That's good. Sex, we have uh, uh, male, female. Interesting. Where you live, rural, urban, hmm, 
Many of you are live are enjoying you know, in uh, urban areas. So that's it. And then we have how will you rate your socioeconomic status? We have that. All right. So where did you score? Okay, this these are for the other things we'll be studying later. Uh, then let's go on to uh yeah, okay. These are the students okay, students become more religious. That's an example. Strongly agree, you can see those who disagree, those who agree, those who strongly disagree, and all of that. But we cannot do our analysis from here. So your question that I can hear many of you asking is where are we going to get the data? Because that's the heart of this lesson. One, collecting data. What you'll do is when you have your life form is is all done. So you see here, view responses in sheets, in sheets. So you go to here, want to have it in Excel sheet. So you can see, that's the thing in sheet, in the sheet. goes sees everything. So when you have this one, you can then go to file and then download it. Wow. You can always play back this video if I'm running too fast for you. So you can download in any form, Microsoft Excel, Open Document Format, PDF, but I suggest you to Microsoft Excel. So when I click Microsoft Excel, you can see it's downloading here, right here. So you click on this, and then it shows you your Microsoft Excel data sheet. This is what we are going to be using for this our exciting class, for learning all the statistics, advanced statistics for the class. So you can see it has generated everything for us, nationality, institution, sex, all of that, all of that. Yeah, you can see agree, strongly agree, you know, things like that. So what's the next step? Next step. It's easy to save this one as your data file. So it's your file, save as, and then you go to a location. Please ensure that you get that good that location where you want to put your data. So I'm going to put it in the data. It's, it's a research, I think. Okay, online courses, research, yeah. Uh, collecting data for advanced statistics, that's where we are. So, invested data, I actually have it right here, but I've already invested the data. So, let me just create another folder and I will say uh, invested excuse me, data today is April, watch 23. Yeah, so I'm just going to call it uh, data for ACE 811. Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. So it's all done. So I assume I close this. Uh, and I want, I close everything. But I can close everything. Then I can go to the my hard drive and look for this um, here I'm here is it's a I'm online courses uh, if you are following me you can see I say research collecting data for advanced statistics invested data April 23 2020 so that's it that's the data so that's what we are going to do this these are the data we'll be using for this course and it's going to be super enjoyable so that will be it for the practical, practical demonstration of data collection. So what have we learned in our lesson one? All we did was to collect data. We learned how to collect data for a study and to save the data for analysis. So what's going to happen in lesson two? In lesson two, we learn how to find standard deviation and variance from our data. Hey, see how I highlighted this word, find. I didn't use the word compute because I use the word compute. We all be shaking compute, but actually it's easy. So until next class, it is bye from me, Peter Okebukola. This is my email ID. Uh, you wish to contact me for, for the information. Bye for now.